the intense heat, dry conditions. They've got many across the county on alert for the threat of a wildfire too. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is joining us from Alpine where homeowners are on edge. People in this neighborhood are all too familiar with wildfires. This was just one of dozens of homes destroyed in the West Fire more than a year ago. The house next door is still under construction and while families are working to rebuild, the threat of another fire is always there. Tom Lawrence moved into his home in Alpine shortly after the West Fire. One of the thir first things he did was clear the backyard of anything that could pose a fire danger. He worries about the large pine trees in front of his home, but he says he is always monitoring the conditions and if there is a fire, he isn't taking any chances. Always, always, mm -hmm. but I can always just drive away. My parents live down the hill and if I need be, I'll just go down. I'm not a stay and fight it kind of guy <laughs> at all, at all. I'll take my dogs and run. And to add more stress to an already stressful time, he told us that he and several of his neighbors recently lost their fire insurance. They had to find a new carrier after the previous company said that they were in uh, a high fire risk area. Reporting live in Alpine, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.